With a fortune of over $15 billion, the Crown Prince of Dubai is one of the richest royals in the world from sports cars to amazing vacations Hamdan bin Mohammed Al Maktam is truly living in the lap of luxury. Today we're looking at a day in the life of the Crown Prince of Dubai, known as Faza by his fans the Crown. Prince of Dubai is extremely popular he boasts more than 13 million Instagram followers who watch him travel the world in style because Phaser is active on Instagram it's easy to get a sense of his daily routine. Although the crown prince has private chefs at his disposal he actually enjoys cooking for himself Phaser usually makes a healthy omelette and some muesli for breakfast. Before getting in his range. Rover and driving to the stable to check on his horses even a cursory scroll through Farsa's Instagram reveals his deep love for horses he owns his own, private stables with dozens of thoroughbred steeds in fact Phaser paid $3 million for a single cult in 2014. He picked up two more horses for $1.8 million each in total, these horses cost more than six and a half million dollars and his stable is valued well in excess of $10 million, the reason the crown prince is willing to pay such a pretty penny for his stable is simple he loves nothing, more than horse racing Phaser spent more than $160,000 just on the uniform for his racing horse and Faza is an extremely talented racer he participates in events all over the world and took home the gold medal at the 2014 World Equestrian Games in France, Prince Harm Dunn also happens to own the world's most expensive camel choosing from a group of more than 17. Thousand Hamdun selected a winning specimen and paid over $2.7 million to take it home but the sheik's love of animals doesn't stop there he spent $15 million to buy an entire British falcon breeding operation, he now has access to some of the most finely bred hunting falcons on earth and as a thank you he sent the breeder a 90-000 Range Rover. Falconry is an integral part of Emirati cultural heritage but due to the amount of construction around Dubai and a loss of desert land the sport has become less popular in recent years Phaser hopes to revive the popularity of the sport. Phaser supports many charities including several that help with animal welfare when he is in racing the crown prince. Can be found supporting a number of important causes close to his heart he frequently donates blood and raises money for philanthropic organizations, for instance he supports children with special needs and is the honorary patron of the Dubai Autism Center he hosts special Olympics events in Dubai and even played wheelchair basketball with disabled athletes from around the world. Because athletics are so important to Phaser he spends lots of money to support the Dubai Sports Committee, which gives young people the opportunity to train, for free they can play basketball soccer, and much more without paying for registration coaching or equipment, although Faza has a taste for the finer things he's also unpretentious in the way he dresses he usually wears casual athletic attire when attending events, like the Dubai Yoga Festival and the Dubai Marathon, after a healthy meal and charity work exercise is the single most important part of the Crown Princess Day he will usually go for a long run bicycle ride or swim and then lift weights and do exercises for practical strength the hard work has paid off as well with Phaser winning competitions all over the world Phaser took home the gold medal in a 160 km endurance horse ride, after competing against a total of 227. School of Economics Hamden makes many of the decisions that relate to Dubai's economy and legislation when visiting heads of state visit Dubai Hamden is there to show them around and make lucrative business partnerships, initiatives he has launched include the Hamdan bin Mohammed Smart Government program in 2013 the initiative aimed to lay down the foundation for a smart government making the government more accessible to the citizens of the UAE through the use of technology, however. Phaser likes to both work hard and play hard and he has virtually unlimited money to spend on amazing possessions for himself the prince made headlines when he bought a fleet of amphibious cars from an American manufacturer called Watercar there. Flagship vehicle the Python can travel 80 miles per hour on land and seamlessly transition to 45 miles per hour on the water as an avid outdoorsman phaser simply had to have one each water car costs $150,000 and he bought six for a total of over $800,000. Although phaser is not a soldier he 
enjoys certain military technology he bought an entire fleet of tanks which he mostly uses for off-roading in the desert these ripshore tanks boast 1500 horsepower and a top speed of 60 miles per hour each unit costs thousand dollars and the crown friends reportedly bought 10 of them of course phaser is no stranger to sports cars and his garage includes a lamborghini venino roadster which costs four and a half million dollars a mclaren p1 that costs 1.3 million dollars a black ferrari la ferrari that cost between 7 to 10 million dollars an aston martin 177 that cost 1.9 million and a bugatti veyron grand sport vitesse that cost 1.6 million and Fraz's travels are not confined to the earth or the sea at the 12th annual dubai air show hamden picked out a fleet of personal airplanes he was also looking to improve dubai's tourism and was particularly impressed with that